Now we'll talk about the, briefly of course, about the origins of mechanical timekeeping. Uh, we're talking about clocks that tick. Uh, they figure uh, back in maybe uh, early Italy, 11th, 12th century, uh, the, um, the mechanical timekeeper probably began in a uh, monastery. Uh, as you may know that the, the monks at that time felt very uh, uh, concerned about praying frequently and praying at the right time. And it often required a monk to uh, stay up all night perhaps with his candle burning down or other methods that we talked about uh, to ring the bell at a certain time so that the monks would get up and pray. But uh, there was some beginning of understanding of gearing, even going back to the Greeks, so they knew that there was uh, some ability to do, uh, uh, to perhaps use a machine to tell time if they could. The, uh, the earliest form of timekeeping machine, and I have a little model of it here, uh, this is uh, basically, again, gears that, uh, of course, in the uh, original days would have been huge, probably in a tower, uh, but it would have been this type of mechanism called a folio, where there's actually a rod that's being kicked back and forth by a, weight so by a power source. In this case, it's a spring, but again, in the old days, it would have been a weight, perhaps a giant boulder with a rope around it hanging from underneath it. And this folio would tick back and forth and, and tell you the time. What you're trying to do is have a regulated tick. And you need some way of taking all this power of a machine and letting it use the energy in a regular way so that the clock ticks and keeps the time once you translate it to time that's on an hour on a dial. The original clocks had no dial. All they did was ring a bell, uh, hence the name clock, which comes from Latin and, and other languages, the Latin clocka, other things that gave us that. So theoretically, a clock, any clock now, really shouldn't be called a clock unless it strikes. The problem with folios is that they weren't very accurate. These rods, these, this bar would just tip back and forth, you could move the weights in and out and maybe get an adjustment, but these were really only good accuracy, maybe an hour a day if you were lucky.